unusual graphics cards? Yeah, I mean, when you think of graphics cards, you always think about gamers buying graphics cards, sticking them on the PC and forgetting about them. But there are graphics cards out there that have specific purposes beyond just pure gaming. Like, let's take this one first. This is by Palette. This looks like it might be a 9800 GX2, but it's not. It's really a 9600 GT. It's a yellow box. It's a yellow box. Well, orange and yellow. It's a 9600 GT, but it's got a gigabyte of video memory, which many cards don't uh, in this class. And the reason for this whole shell is because it actually has to have a heat sink on the back to cool the memory. It does have one unusual feature in addition to the added memory, and it's got a display port connector, which almost no cards have now. But uh, until we get DisplayPort monitors... That also has a US, or HDMI port and yes. a digital optical out port yes. as well? Uh, optical out, uh, yeah. I've never port. seen more outputs on a right, single graphics right. card. It, it's, you know, for your home theater setup. But uh, the problem is, I, I'm just not sure why you need a gigabyte of RAM on a 9600 GT. But it's if you want it, there it is. If you're thinking that they should reserve gigs of RAM for the most premium models. Yeah, maybe. Uh, although, although if you start doing more and more of this, what they call GPGPU stuff, as you do run more software on your video card, maybe it can be useful. I think we'll be uh, talking about some other GPU-related computing stuff, too, in the near future. Right. Uh, and then this one is a gamer's card, but it's a little different. This is an 8800 GT. It doesn't look like an 8800 GT because it's got this humongous fan heatsink combination on it. The nice thing about this 8800 GT is it's heavily overclocked. This is a BF- BFG card called the 8800 GT OCX. It has a, a, a larger heat sink, and it doesn't have the little shell that the uh, NVIDIA-based cards have. But it runs faster, overclocked, and it's also quieter at the same time. It's one of my favorite graphics cards right now. Just a great value for the money. Yep. For a sub-$200 card, I don't know if there's anything better. I have to go ask Jason. But. Yeah, well, you, Jason will have more information on that next week. Okay. Sub-$200 cards. This guy is a really interesting card. It looks massive, and it is massive. You need a big case to put this in. The cool, this is a 3870X2, so it's got two GPUs and a gigabyte of memory, uh, 512 meg for each card. But what's really interesting about this is it has four DVI ports. So you can drive four monitors from one card. There you go. See? You can actually drive all four at once? Yes. If you're not running in what's called crossfire mode, you right. can drive all four monitors at the same time. So if you're the flight sim aficionado, would that right. be a great... That would be the cool card to have. Yeah. That's what I'm and, thinking. Uh, I'll handle this last one here. That is a fanless card. It has no cooling fan whatsoever. Just a really beefy heat sink. It is also a 9600 GT, like the pallet card. This is made to use in home theater systems. Unfortunately, it lacks an HDMI connector, but it does have HTCP-protected uh, DPI ports. Cool. So you can use a converter cable if you need to, but That's right. the lack of fans. Utterly quiet. Nice. And it's still get great performance on yep, it. Yep. A 9600 GT, you get good mid-level gaming performance, but you know, you're know really using this for your home theater stuff, right? Very cool. It's neat stuff. That's some pretty impressive stuff. Not your ordinary cards. Not at all.